Good evening. Time now for Thursday Sports. And with the new school term just started, boxing officials are inviting as many interested students to take part in their after-school boxing program. Since the inception, scores of students lace up the gloves at the Dalmain Ebanks Boxing Gym daily, working with national coaches Donnie Anglin and Norman Wilson, learning the basics of the sweet science. And Wilson is pleased with the feedback. From a lot of the, the youngsters, like one or two uh, here, they was having problems. They were smoking, they were drinking, they were doing quite a few things that they shouldn't be doing. And even the parents are saying something about their children today because they have turned completely around. Stop smoking, stop drinking, stop hanging out, going to school, doing what they're supposed to do. And, and because of this sport, it has changed a lot of young people. Eight of our elite amateur boxers hit the ring against Bahamian and Jamaican opposition this Saturday night. They are Tafari Ebanks, Dwayne Anglin, Jason Parchment, the son of national coach Donnie Anglin, Eric McField, Aaron Powell, and Dariel Ebanks, the Olympic prospect. Also in the ring will be the female boxers Jessica Richards and Tracy Seymour. Well, the boxers join me and Vanessa on Let's Talk Sports tonight. We hear from some of the young fighters preparing for the upcoming card and a possible shot at the 2012 London Olympics. Then organizers of the Cayman Islands Marathon, Ronda Kelly, and 2008 champion Scott Britton join us in the studio to talk about this year's event. And they have some important information for those first-timers aiming to tackle the team relay, half marathon, or the full marathon. Let's Talk Sports tonight at 7 at the top of the hour, so join us for that. To some cricket news now, Caribbean champions Guyana suffered their second defeat of the Champions League T20 tournament today. Trinidad and Tobago all-rounder Kyron Pollard stole the show for the Indian Premier League side. Mumbai Indians Pollard smashes nine sixes in his unbeaten knock of 72, setting up a 31-run victory over the Guyanese. Pollard's Trinidad and Tobago teammate Dwayne Bravo snares two wickets to propel the Indian champs to victory. A big game there for the Mumbai Indians against Ramnara Sarawan and his mentor Guyana, hoping to rebound in their future games. English all-rounder Andrew Flintoff has been forced to quit the sport because of a recurring injury. At the height of his powers, Flintoff was one of the game's most recognizable and popular players worldwide. He announced his retirement from all forms of cricket today after consulting his medical advisors. Flintoff retired from the first test from Test Cricket last year, rather, after England's victory over Australia in the Ashes series and was focusing his energy on becoming a one-day player. But that comeback has now ended after he was told his body could no longer stand up to the rigours of international cricket or any cricket for that matter. And to some football news now, Arsenal were the biggest winners of the opening round of the UEFA Champions League competition, led by a double strike from Cesc Fabregas, the Gunners. Handed Braga a 6-0 drubbing yesterday. Last season's losing finalist Bayern Munich shrug off Roma 2-0. And thanks to a double strike from Gonzalo Higuain, Real Madrid east past Ajax 